Hola amigos y amigas, I am Leila, also known as Miss Bohemia, and I am standing because I'm going to have a special guest today, but more on that later. I'm currently testing out K18, and it's a six-week process where I cannot condition my hair, and therefore, I needed help today. Because I got sent a PR box by Zoto's Professional, the All About Curls box. I am part of this app, not part of the app, I mean, I joined the Influencer app, I got the Influencer app, and basically on that app, if you leave reviews, you get the chance to qualify for their, what they call Called the Vox Box campaign. At one point, they sent me a box full of ibuprofen, Butterfinger, and some toner for the face. I did not like that box. I'm picking, I reject a lot of the things that I could potentially qualify for because they're companies that are not cruelty free. Being cruelty free is important for me, and you can watch more about that here. And so I was super, super thrilled when I qualified for this because they're cruelty free, they're vegan, but they're also silicone and sulfate free. More on that later. However, the timing is such that I need to test it out and review it at a time where I can't really test it out and so I needed help before I dive into that let's look at what this box has to offer all about curls united we curl and this is the inside of the box it has a little pamphlet explaining all the products that are in there and this is what's in there the low lather cleanser essential moisture quenched cream conditioner deluxe moisture soft definition gel for a crunchless light hold and the taming cream for controllable definition. I think I dabbled in this line, tried it, but not really well. I didn't know my hair. It was completely damaged. So it was back in 2019. I didn't have the best experience, but I didn't have the best experience with anything. My hair was just breaking off. It was like straw. I wasn't using the lock method, which is what I use to moisturize my hair. So I feel that I'm going to have a better handle on things this time around. And I'm really excited to try it. And so here's our special guest. My son! <laughs> My homemade human. I knew that would be embarrassing to say. It makes me sound really dorky. Okay, so because I can't do the conditioner on my hair according to K18 protocol, and you can view that video here. It should be finished by the time this posts. I'm using my son. He has donated his beautiful head of hair to me. Although I'm so bummed you cut it down. He normally has big poofy hair. So we'll be focusing on the definition that comes out of this portion of his hair where his hair should still curl. One thing I forgot to mention about the brand and this is how they advertise themselves. They are for all curl patterns, 2A wavy to 4C curly. He tends to be about a 3A like me. This chair is so pretty. <laughs> so we're starting out with the low lather cleanser, but first we've got to go get his hair wet. I'm gonna, oh, <laughs> you're kidding me. You can find out all about Zoto's professional and all about curls at the link posted below and I'll post the link here because I don't know it right now. They are free of sulfate, silicones, and parabens. I'm gonna get started while I talk. So, ooh, comes out nice. Mmm, smells really good. Nice slip. So my concern with sulfate-free shampoos is it's not something we do in this household because it doesn't give you that peace of mind as far as longevity of cleansing hair and scalp goes because it doesn't really strip the scalp of all the product buildup. We're not a silicone-free household. Our products do contain silicones. We do well with silicones in our hair and so we do need a sulfate cleanser to properly cleanse the hair. There's five mild surfactants which I'll mention later in the video because I don't know those names right now that Curly Chemistry recommends you look for in shampoos and I didn't see any one of those in this shampoo so I'm curious to see how the cleansing will be I would probably being someone who does use silicones etc and likes sulfate shampoos recommend that if you're the same as me you always do washes that do have sulfate shampoos incorporated into the routine and not just rely on a sulfate free routine for the health of your scalp but as is this is considered low lather and it's getting a pretty good lather which is nice because i like lather it smells so good and it feels good the slip is good feels like it's gonna be nice and cleansing let's rinse this off and the verdict is how does your hair feel do you feel clean feels hairy <laughs> do you feel clean does your scalp feel clean feels the same i don't know I think it feels good. I'm touching the hair. It doesn't feel stripped, but it does feel cleansed. I don't feel any product on it, any product built up of any kind. Next up, the quench cream conditioner. Also sulfate, silicone, paraben free. Smells good. Very similar to the shampoo. Good slip. Easy to apply. I feel like I want to put more. Your hair is so short. I'm not used to not being able to like, I don't know how to handle short sort of hair. I want to make sure I get conditioner and product on this. I think you got it all. You smell good. Your hair is so okay. beautiful. Hold on. All in, all applied, quite simple, quite quick, no noises. And now we're going to rinse it off. We're back. All around a good wash. 
the conditioner worked great the shampoo worked great i'm impressed for a sulfur free shampoo and i'm really curious i wrote them they haven't replied but i was curious to see what their cleansing surfactant is and to learn more about it because maybe there is something more to the five that curly chemistry mentioned which i'm sure there is they never replied if they reply by the time this video goes up i will post that reply below so keep an eye out and now we're jumping in to the stylers we're starting with a taming cream normally i don't like to put too many stylers in his hair he doesn't really need it but for the sake of saying that i've actually tested out all of the products sent we're going to do more of a styling cream base and a light application of the hair gel his curls even though they're loose have good enough structure that he doesn't really need too much this is way more than enough so we're going to go in that much the whole line has a very similar scent this is lighter scent than the shampoo and the conditioner it has some good tackiness to it so going on the hair it feels a little sticky i'm interested to see that once we diffuse his hair how is it going to feel because neither of us like sticky hair <laughs> if you get sticky hair you have to wash your head <laughs> later on your own <laughs> Now we're going in with the soft definition gel. Let's see if it is a crunchless light hold. However, it's going on top of the styling cream. I'm literally going to do very little because he doesn't need it. Similar scent. I like it. Nice slip. Mmm. I really like the scent. Makes me want to put more gel in your hair. I'll do that. It feels really light. Maybe I should put more. <laughs> I can't give you a review on the gel alone. And I'm going in very light. So we're mainly relying on the styling cream. Depending on the results, then you would tweak accordingly. Maybe you put in more cream, less gel. Gel alone, cream alone. More gel than I put on. You have to tailor the routine to your hair. But I think he's going to do well with what he has what i can feel one thing i forgot to say is after conditioning his hair we did go in with a lock method with tgi natural products putting in a base of leave-in an oil and a cream then we went in with the stylers and now we're ready to diffuse and the verdict is and this is it i like the results they look good and they feel good the curl definition is really good it is probably a little more producty than i'd like but then again we did go in with two products and it's not too bad it's not super dry because he's a restless teenager right here <laughs> rushing me so i wanted it to look just good enough for the video how does it feel to you good touch your hair oh uh, yeah yeah so it's a success we like it in all honesty a little drier than what we are accustomed to with the products that we use he mainly uses tgin i've mainly been using sultanicals so i wouldn't know how to counteract that i might probably be the gel i'm not sure because then again we combined two styling products i would say if you're going to try it out go in with one styler see how it works for you if you need two then you can layer on the second styler and the next time if one doesn't work for you you can try the other one play around with it and see how it works for your hair stop <laughs> rushing me i'm gonna write the five mild surfactants mentioned by curly chemistry down in the description box below it's easier than have to rattle them out here and it's hard for you to copy down so in case you want it copy paste and i think that's it thank you so much influencer and zotos professional for this wonderful box <laughs> you're not going anywhere we're taking pictures hold on and this was it all on his head <laughs> if you like this video please sit straight please like comment oh my god you're so tall if you like this video please like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stay tuned for the next one are you going to be guest starring somewhere no. <laughs> see you in the next video and ciao for now